going to be doing my Beauty Awards 2013 and this is the eye products and I'm really excited to do this because these are like mascara, eyeliner, and eyeshadow and like stuff like that because I've been, I'm an eye product kind of girl so I have 13 products to show you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy. I'll have the links down below to my lip product video for the Beauty Awards and my finale video, which the finale one is going to be like a little bit of everything. So I hope that you guys enjoy and um, check the links down below for when those go. Let's start off with the thing that I like could not live without, okay? Let's just start with that one. So I love mascara. Like I'm a mascara-holic, okay? That's what we're going to call it. Um, so I have three mascaras that I have discovered this year that I'm in love with and could not live without. So the first one is the Ulta Plush Drama Volume Mascara. I love volume. It's like I love like the stuff that gives me volume because I don't know, like I like having big lashes, you know. And this one just has a really like, and it just has like this, you know. And the wand looks like this, and it has so much product that goes on it. So when you want to like make a mascara combination, this is the one to combo with. The next one is my Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara by Jordania. And this is a great price. Like the pricing and the wand, like this is like, this reminds me of Scandalize. You know what I mean? Like the orange tube from Rimmel London. This is like the same, this is like a knockoff of it. So much cheaper. It's like $8 for that one. And this one's like 3 bucks, like $2.99. So... Definitely worth the price, like definitely worth it and worth so much more because I can use it and I'm like in heaven. The third and last mascara is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I love this one because, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but like look at that. Just, just, let's just bask in its glory for a second. It's amazing. It's been in I think one or two favorite videos this year. So the next section is eyeliners and like stuff like that so the first one so the first one I'm gonna start with is one that I used completely like all year since like spring which is a long time and I found this at forever 21 and I was just like why not try it just just give it a chance and um, if you guys can tell this one is like like at the bottom you can see the bottom but like I've gone through so many of these they're amazing they last on your waterline which we all know I have waterline like needing it's only like a dollar or a dollar fifty or a dollar eighty like one of those and you guys can get this at forever 21 at their like love and beauty section you know with the makeup and the blush area I find so many things that people just overlook and then you realize wow this is actually a really great product like why didn't I find this one before and you always have to give products a chance because this one has definitely proven itself to me it's a great travel product because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it has like a sharpener, and when you're traveling, you're not going to want to take like a sharpener with you. This is perfect, and it's cute packaging, and I just love it. It's so perfect. It's a purpley color, and it goes on so nice and smooth, and I'm just like obsessed. Can I just say that? It's right here, and it's the Love and Beauty, and this is $1.80. So the next one is actually a white eyeliner, but the whole line from this collection is like amazing from One Wild. They definitely prove themselves with these, and but this one I really love because it's so creamy. It's definitely like a smaller version of the um, milk from NYX. Like it works just as well, and you can you can use this as like the same thing as a base. Like I just kind of like smudged it out, and it just works really well. I've used it and it works so well. This is my second one of these and I love putting it in the inner corner just to like brighten my eyes when I'm on the go and I'm like, oh. you see how beautiful that black is? Like, beautiful. This I've been wearing like as my go-to winged look, like this is what I use because I'm not a winged liner like person, like I cannot do it correctly. This helps so much. I'm starting to get a little bit better and I hope that you guys eventually will get to see me do it in a video. But yeah, I'm just excited because it's just perfect. And it's bold too because you can do it like that. Or you can do it like that's the boldest it'll go. So now we're going to go on to like lid products, like eyelid products. And the first one I have is by Ulta. And it's the bronzed um, cream eyeshadow. I love these because they are 
so amazing and creamy and can you guys see that like I don't know they just beautiful like who else can get that amazing of like you can either smoke it out you can make it thin you can make it thick you can cover it this is like amazing and it's a cream shadow it's a color coat cream eyeshadow and this is in bronze if you guys are wondering so these were all the rage in the spring or in the yeah like around the spring they were like BAM everyone used them and I know I definitely did like look at that dent do you see that it's still working though like I hit pan just now you guys do you see that I hit pan this is amazing now that is a color tattoo by Maybelline and this is the iStudio collection but I love them and I'm probably gonna end up like getting these eventually because they're expensive but they're so worth it they last so long they don't dry out and this is in bad to the bronze which is a very popular one so the next thing is an Ulta baked eyeshadow and this is just in Sunset Boulevard and I love this as like a travel with me because if you guys can see it it like has three different colors and it's perfect like highlight crease and um, lid the wet n wild Walking on eggshells was obviously like fully used. Like that was like my go-to kind of like if I'm lazy, do that during during the fall, like a beginning of fall. Does that make sense? This trio, Wet n Wild's um, Silent Treatment. I love this because I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. Can you guys see that? I don't know. It like makes such a polished look, and all you have to use is that color. Like that's an amazing color. Great color payoff though. Like, do you guys see that? Mm so good and then I don't I hate the brow bone color in this but I just love the way that you can just fade them together do you see that I just love that so that's like my go-to like look that I also had and speaking of baked eyeshadow from the Sally girl if you guys know Sally's beauty supply that is where I found this and a bunch of other colors and I have a like a bunch of other colors too but this one is like one that I can wear down here, not down here, but like on my, um, as eyeliner also. But this one's so pretty. Like, look at that color right here. That is like, color is like crazy good. It's a baked eyeshadow. It's tiny, it's compact, but it has so much product in it. And I'm definitely looking forward to using this. All through 2014 from the Sally Girl collection. I'm, I'm probably gonna go get more. But these are perfect for like little gifts for people or just for yourself. Like you can keep this in a like a little tiny holder. You know what I mean? Like there's no like it's the, there's barely any. Um and it has like a lot of product. And I'm just I'm in love. And I've been using this a lot too. So the last eyelid product and eye product out of this whole video is glitter top coat that I used during the winter like a lot during December so do you see that you brush your finger and look it you get so much this is just a really good glitter eye top coat they have so many different colors from Ulta but this one is in fairy princess and I just I like this because I can trust the fact that it's a makeup product and it's glitter and it's not like if it gets in my eye it's not gonna kill me like glitter will so I just really like this because it's like perfect and it definitely has like some type of like dimension to it when you put it on your eye. You're like wow there's like chunks on your eye but it doesn't look like bad chunky you know. So that's all for this Beauty Awards 2013 eye products. I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys did can you guys leave me your feedback like maybe like this video. If you guys are new to my channel then can you guys um, subscribe to me and also if you guys want to leave a comment down below of any eye products that you were loving or if you guys loved anything that I had because I want to try new products and when I get your guys feedback as my viewers then I get to try them and maybe do like a review or something or just try it for myself so don't forget to check the description box for anything you guys need to know because I have the links hopefully will go up eventually um, for when I put the other videos up. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye!